Warning, this video is intended for a mature audience. You understand? Viewer discretion is advised. Yay! <laughs> All right, this is Billy Bob Tanley here, people, and this is a request from Ghetto Tunes, and it was uploaded by Saber Spark, and name this video is What the Hell is Sir Billy and an Incorporated Kids Movie? Okay, let's check it out. Yay. Just press the blue lever to lower him to your dick. What yeah. is this? Yeah. Your dick. <laughs> Okay, some cyber spark drugs. It's gonna be some stupid. I'm gonna just cut to the chase. Him. This movie sucks. Bad of animation, course, they all bad do. story, that you just bad everything. But there are two things that make this film stand out from the norm. First off, it's tone. For a kids' movie, there sure are a lot of adult references. Oh boy. Kids. The other thing that makes this film stand out from the norm is a certain somebody <sighs> who was part of the production, and his name. Oh Bond. James Bond? James Bond. Yep, Don't be Sean Connery. Because who else is oh, better to star in a kid's movie than this guy? And let me tell you, <laughs> the people behind this film Legend. were proud of that fact. You could make a drinking game out of all of the meta Sean Connery references. Don't, don't actually do that. All right, you so let's talk about the origin what? of this movie. The people behind its creation are Sasha and Tessa Hartman. Huh. Wait, could it be? No way. Wait, what? No. The intellectual the property, fuck? that is Sir Billy, belongs to Sasha and Tessa, and comes huh. across as their creative love child. You as look far like as I can tell, from it was a originally Scooby -Doo. a book called Sir Billy the Vet. But I could not find or said Daphne, book anywhere whatever the on the internet. Used. But that doesn't matter. It was time to make a movie and cash in on Sean's dead career. For those oh, who don't shit. know, Sean was once James Bond and was yeah, one of the most popular that, actors in Hollywood. Over the years, though, he passed up on major roles that ranged from Lord of the Rings to The Matrix. Holy but the roles wow. that he did say yes to were typically bad and did not do so well critically yeah, or financially. Make mistakes doing the that guy shit. eventually retired, but was offered the role of Sir Billy in the early 2000s. Sir Billy. <laughs> Apparently, this was worthy of coming out of retirement for. <laughs> I could only imagine they must that him this was money. due to the movie being a massive ego stroke and the likely chance that Sean was Come being on, paid quite handsomely. Hey, From what I can tell, the guy cares a lot about money. These people that make so he was just know, picture, they must be kicking themselves that they haven't got your dulcet tones on their movie. Come on, don't be Steven Seagal. Film from just Scotland. Just desperate for anything. Oh yeah, I can up? only imagine that Disney <laughs> and DreamWorks really regret passing this one up. The film itself had a long and difficult production that lasted many years and saw a high turnover with animators. Many years, huh? The Hartmans also pushed the film as something that Scotland should be proud of, as an original animated movie that represents the country. Well, oh. let's just say another movie came out around the same time of Sir Billy's release that wasn't made in Scotland, but was I don't remember the name of it, but I've seen it ever. Brave. A princess right. should not place her weapon on the table. But mom, oh. it's just the metal. She looks so weird. Okay. All right, so let's go over my five points. Dialogue. <laughs> Boy, is it weird. There oh are boy. moments where Sean just goes off and threatens to beat somebody up. And uh, oh, I'm really? going to be honest, it seems pretty accurate of the way that Sean actually is. Well, what is it? You did an interview in which you said, it's not the worst thing to slap a woman now and then. As I remember, you said you don't do it with a clenched fist. It's better to do it with an open hand. What? Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah. And I, I didn't love that. I haven't changed my opinion. Edit. What, what the Some fuck? of the cuts are bizarre. Uh, but the thing that stands out to me I the most sure. is the audio. It sounds, sounds fucked uh, up there, buddy. How do I describe this? Uh, metallic y? Like some kind of filters were put on the audio and it does not work. And it especially sounds bad on Sean. Right. I see. Oh, yeah, it's this. Oh, well, there you are. Well, where have you been? Speaking of uh. audio, voice acting. Not only is the audio bad, you ain't showing too much in the movie, I noticed. But also, the reason delivery. For that? 
You can tell that Sean phoned this one in and did not care. He mumbles his words. He doesn't sound very enthusiastic. Yeah, he, he's not and really. His overall tone comes his across as to this shitty movie. Mario oh, Hat. Some sure reminds me of another adventure. Story. Okay. The pacing of the movie doesn't make any sense. For example, they build a sense of urgency with one of the characters being in danger of drowning and said that the character Who's needs drowning? immediate help. Following that, it takes the rest of the characters like 10 minutes to actually do anything. Really? It's infuriating. I Fuck shit this you movie, not, they hold a town committee before acting. That's like seeing someone's house Ooh, on fire and spending the next face. half hour debating with others on what to do. Also, this so, movie is littered with Sean Connery references, and every time one is said, it just takes me out of the And it's film. a kid's movie, right? Mr. Johnny, my name is William. Billy, to my friends. Fuck this nice movie. to meet you. And indeed, welcome to Catalyst. You Come are on, man. crazy ugly! And finally, <laughs> yeah. animation. The character models are very unappealing and look like they belong in Back Trash. to the Barnyard. But in that barnyard. show's defense, at least it was clever and the animation somewhat works with the feel of the cartoon. Here, I never watched it, has it but I've none seen of the charm clips. and is just off putting. And don't even get me started on the female designs. Got they all have exaggerated features, Kid especially movie. with their curves and chest. Massive breasts to go with their ugly faces. Hello? That was uglier. Have you got any of those Mrs. Plumper's pies with Why you give them giant face? tits and give them the ugliest face? Who's this for? Okay, so, so we start doing. off with this awful logo. I mean, yeah. just look at the design. The B. What's the thought process here? Just uh, shove his face into the B, whatever. The guys who made this movie fuck. really wanted to ride the coattails of Sean Connery and his previous role as James <laughs> Bond. And how did they do this? Well, by making their own version of a James Bond intro. You know this what is that not means? James Bond. Silhouettes of sexy girls. For kids, right? <laughs> this does not work, especially for a kid's movie. It feels it's not so a kid's movie. charged with all of the voluptuous ladies it's shaking their bodies across the older. screen. And mind you, one of these girls, the one the glass is, is Sir Billy's daughter. I guess he's... Wait, what? I guess he's cool with that. Uh, <laughs> go up there, sweetie, and shake your crown for daddy. Oh, I don't think he has the say in the credits because the credits Connery are not supposed to be part of the real life. Tricks. You know, because, uh, because, uh, why the hell not? Okay, so the uh, movie actually starts, and we're soaring across the Scottish Highlands. We then hear Sean right. Connery talk, and my God, does he sound bad. Like, I don't know how to explain well, it. His voice is, us. like, robotic-y and, and well, let's tired. Listen. What a rare film. <laughs> More That's like it. a shitty film. So Sean shuts up, uh, uh, and we zoom in on, and I quote, an illegal, illegal animals. animals deportation camp. There, we have some Scottish cops loading up a shipment of talking beavers. Talk? What? I'll be back in Norway before dawn breaks tomorrow. Stupid idea, anyway. <laughs> what? What? So we learn that <laughs> beavers have been made illegal in Scotland, and these what? guys this are trying to so get dumb. rid of them. Just because the rest of those mad Europeans decided to reintroduce the funny little... I hate this movie. Doesn't mean we have to have them roving about the Highlands now, does it? Oh, come <laughs> on now, uh, McTavish. They're not all bad. I've this movie's bad. I've been tail and the paws, and I must tell you, yeah, it's mighty taste. <laughs> okay, so this is a problem that I have with movies that feature animals that are basically humanoid. Like, not so where's the line? They do talk. humans eat them, or are they considered equals? Because as far as I'm concerned, I don't know why they do this, this shit movies. Cannibal. So they start to drive, cannibal. but the truck tips over, letting loose some of the beavers. And <laughs> oh boy, I gotta say, it was a pretty nasty crash. Yeah, but so I'm escaped. All right. They're all dead. What yeah, the fuck? They probably are. We apologize for Saber's ignorance. Cartoon beaver death is very serious issue. What the fuck? Okay, so there's this weird bit of animation where the uh, okay. cops open the door of the truck and the truck driver is like out of focus, but the cops aren't. That's weird. Like, like what the hell's that about? So one uh, of the beavers hides from the cop and is found by this ugly ass bunny instead. 
We then lead into the next scene, where we've been what told that it's been this five years show? later, and that the rest of the beavers in Scotland were sent to Norway. We Whoa. then meet this awful character. A duck who Howard flies a duck? plane and sounds like she's southern, oh, she? but not really. Anyway, my name is Victoria, and I will be your captain, your skiers, first Get officer, this. and a... <laughs> Yeah, Who is she talking to? And if you couldn't tell, we're in a Scottish town. Honestly, though, they don't give us much evidence to figure that out. Hello? Have you got any of those big titty monster again. Again, is this a kid's movie? Because that jiggling makes me think <laughs> otherwise. <laughs> All ages of me. I should have been a detective inspector by now. Um, Everybody likes to talk to themselves here. Uh, so the cop is still looking for the beaver, as it remains at large. But who cares? Because we finally get to meet Sean Connery, a local hero who goes by the name of Billy and works as an animal veterinarian. To insult my name, but my name ain't spelled like his. It's been a long time since I've been. <laughs> Okay, so I want to take a quick yeah. moment to highlight this scene. Behold the Scottish flag. Beautiful. Really? Proud. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the refrigerator. And, and then you have the British flag. Ripped, worn, thrown what into the, the background. Fuck? Makes you kind of wonder if the folks who made this movie harbor any kind of resentment for the British. Huh? That's a good movie right there. Mel Gibson, uh, Braveheart. Freedom! We then meet Billy's goat friend Gordon, an anthro character who, for some reason, Kill Bill? wears a jumpsuit that looks like <laughs> Uma Thurman's from Kill Bill. <laughs> I <just> said it. <laughs> kind of ironic, with his name being oh. Billy, but uh, I doubt that was intentional. I, did. I think he has sex with that goat. Some bestiality going on. Can you speak what? up? Is this goat fucking dogs? You're the man, Billy. <sighs> it's just, uh, just gotta keep shoving those references <laughs> in, don't you guys? Uh, get away from me! Oh, you, uh, they know what gross. they're doing. They know exactly what they're doing. Kids movie. What the fuck is this guy's character? There's a weird furry shit going on now. <sighs> Why did he agree to do this? Wait, he pissed himself? What the fuck? How? He's wearing a jumpsuit. Was Again, he thought on hard times? What the hell he... is this guy? Is Get he rid a of it. A friend? A piece of shit? So Billy goes off to school S to pick up his grandson. I will say it. Who then, my lucky lad, give Papa a juicy kiss? A juicy kiss? <laughs> so Billy and his son arrive I'm about to stop town, this video. And we meet the love interest of the movie. Well, big tips. Miss Donna, my name is William. Billy to my friends. Pleased to meet you. Stop and being creepy. Be welcome to Catalyst. I never thought I would see the day. The old guy is actually flirting. All right, so I'm confused. Uh. Is Billy actually James Bond in retirement? Because the movie sure makes it seem that way. Also, Michael most of Lighty's the kids my... watching this film won't get these references. Little Maybe kids their parents watching. might, but that's about it. I mean, there's nothing wrong with making references, but the movie goes too far at Overkill. times. Overkill. Like, we get it. Sean Connery played James Bond. Stop bringing yeah, it up. Yeah, long time also, ago. what the hell is going on here? Is this some topless lady smacking her chest? The kid what noticed, the... and so did I. <laughs> so we cut back to the beaver, hanging out with some bunnies wow. as they head to some kind of sporting event. So the sporting event that they're at is log sledding? I Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if this was an actual thing in Scotland. All I mean, the other beavers just die. So it's not too impossible. So the bunny gets jealous of the beaver and tries to outdo her, but fails what? horribly. Ugh. What is this movie trying to be? He's then what? hanging on to a cliff for dear life. Uh, I love the reaction of the beaver when she runs up. And a bunch of rabbits. She's like, what's going on? Oh my God! <laughs> so the bunnies fall and are now floating downstream. The beaver jumps into action and tries to save them, but she does a beaver? horrible job. She basically swims right past her mother, 
Like, look, she's like, oh, don't worry, mom. You're okay. okay. Just hang on the edge of that water. Well, the other don't one's let your going further down. Body drown. I guess that you could say that they're waterlogged. <sighs> Yeah. This movie. I guess you could say that they're waterlogged. We then cut back to Billy, who, I it. and I shit you not, hits a bunny with his car. <laughs> and then the Billy gets angry at the fuck? bunny. Bunny, what the devil do you think you're doing? You're Kids movie. An accident. You know that? But the bunny explains okay. to Billy the situation. And honestly, it's the most infuriating thing ever. She goes on and on and on about the problem. A problem that, in my <laughs> eyes, is quite time sensitive. And then Billy takes his time to address it. Like, what? guys, they're probably dead by now. We need to move fast, people. Bishy Boo's life is hanging on a thread. Yeah, I don't even know who that do. is. I forgot. Too bad for the bunny. You're doing the complete opposite. That's all very well, Sir William, but uh, have you forgotten that my McTuff Industries damn. Oh, I don't care about this shit. Look at that guy's mouth. Can't you nope. switch them off, man? What if we don't catch them before they reach the dam? Like, come on now, McTuff. <laughs> this so goat is very man. creepy. Can I give him one? Sir, build that for his thug alive. <laughs> We then get this you know, the scene actually where Billy him. awkwardly threatens the police officer, which would be illegal, I would imagine. I suggest if your business is not for the good, this is <laughs> so desperate for a role to make some money. Are you understanding me? <laughs> yeah, oh. son, a good move on your part. You coward! <laughs> I wouldn't fancy my chances if I were you. Really? But nope. Billy just goes on and on it's with the fucking cop. movie, and man. It it's just super sounds trash. Like a real confrontation with how weird the dialogue is. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they wired Sean Connery and recorded him yelling at an actual police officer. <laughs> we cut back to Billy <laughs> and, and his friends in the actually. river as they find the beaver's mom. I need to check it out first. Oh, Billy. It doesn't look good, does it? Why we didn't get a lesson there? about paralysis and how a broken spine might mean permanent damage, which, you know, oh, is a good thing to learn, but it kind of stops the flow of the movie. Billy's all like, let me tell you all for the next few minutes Fuck about nerve this. damage and how to tell if someone's a paraplegic. By the way, <laughs> it's been about 12 minutes in actual movie time since they found out 12? about the emergency and they still haven't gotten down to the river. <sighs> Oh yeah, this scene. Kids like movie. I said before, is this a kids movie? Sure, been over like that. that Somebody should have run really up to that. Wonder. Never mind. Finally, I knew it. He's looking. Oh, oh there, mind. God damn, dude, calm down. <laughs> yeah, villain. <laughs> Big giant tits, but ugly face. Okay, so the people who made this movie really had a thing for girls with big tits. I mean, seriously, Why every have single ugly woman so in this film has a massive rack. But when you look at their faces, yeah. uh, holy shit, are they Must bad. be that uh, uh, agenda being forced on us again. You know, women are all allowed to be sexy. They gotta this scene. look a certain Can way. Can you guess face. which of the characters is the Spider generic two, nerd? Uh, Come Last on, of Us 2. Let's get back to the observation. Let's get this show going right. Okay, so a couple of things. First off, that ass. Second, why, are you looking at his why ass? the puns? They really have no connection with the characters or the movie at all. They're just random puns. One for pizza and one for cleaning supplies. Oh, we then yeah. see Billy get pissed off and demand that the damn turbines be shut down. I'm getting pissed off right now. I've had one hell of a morning. And I Very don't angry. Any more nonsense. Understand? Uh, I don't know how you. Who the hell's this? It, but I want that turbine turned off, just in case we can't get Bessie and Dave. But <laughs> oh no, the cop has arrived and told Billy to not interfere. But Billy and his goat jump into action. His goat. They're able to rescue the bunny, but they couldn't get to the beaver. Also, the duck decides to run Who her plane into the helicopter. Cause uh, why the hell not? No one steals my airspace. Okay, what so I love this next part. So the beaver <laughs> is dragged into the metal grate, and Billy screams out, No! Bessie! But then the audio layers over to the beaver screaming. So when you watch it in its entirety, it sounds like Billy's voice cracks. 
Bessie! <laughs> So the guard straps a bungee cord on and jumps down to save the beaver, which is goddamn impressive. I mean, the timing How to pull this fuck? off is just insane. But then Kill Gordon Bill falls into the water and starts to float downstream. Just like that. Oh, what a drama, huh? Put a bag over its head and might be okay then. Wow, what a bitch. <laughs> so they're able to get Gordon and they lift him out of the water. Just press the blue lever to lower him to your <laughs> But then, Why did you have the out of cash? nowhere, a goddamn Russian nuclear powered submarine emerges. Just... And before a hunt for Red October <laughs> reference. I hope Wait, what? That emergency whistle. Oh my, that sub sure reminds me of another Why are you talking so low? <laughs> Called it. Uh, Damn duck. Who the hell's this? I know I flew a little off course to end up here, but your ass is seriously bumping. What the you say ass? Kids film. Okay, Still so talking to this duck just said the word ass in a kid's movie and I also acknowledged first. that the submarine is Soviet, considering that it's been nearly 30 years since the end of the Soviet Union. Stupid you just movie, been underwater man. the stupid, entire time, stupid comrade? Movie. Didn't get the memo? Again, Indiana Jones. Stop showing her face. Jemima I'm getting offended. <laughs> okay, so she just made a James Bond joke. So is he just fictional or not? I don't God, know. I hate these references. Yeah, I don't get them all because I didn't watch all the James Bonds. Holy okay. shit, that's impressive. You'd think that grabbing on would break his arms, or at the very it's least, kill rip Bill the goat. skin off his hands. Wait, why does this goat have hands? <laughs> because it can. <sighs> Is he gonna die? Really? Target? I expect him to bounce higher now. So Who's Gordon that? is knocked out, and Billy wonders if he's dead. We then get this random ass memory lane montage. Oh no, of the, two, the sex scene! And it I don't doesn't see it. Make any sense? Gordon Why goat. is Gordon strip teasing in a kid's I movie? I told you. Why I, are they recreating strip a teasing in a kid's? And check it out! It's the book Sean Connery read after signing up to make this movie. So the duck has some kind of healing water and throws <laughs> it at Billy. So Gordon survives because he drank booze. The cop then steals the beaver and takes off. But Billy what is goes so after special them. about the beaver? How does he do this? <laughs> you should know by now. He takes I his James know. Bond car, of course. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is so goddamn shit. Then the most outrageous part of this movie happens. Billy takes to his skateboard and goes after the cop. We are riders. Time to burn. Billy then lands on the car and starts to fight the cop as they make their way into a military base, cause why the hell not? So the cop tries to going? get Billy arrested, to which Billy, once again, threatens to beat the police officer. Give me five minutes for this joker detective. Could you at least make him look cooler than I am? But the joke's on the cop. He gets arrested, and that's that. By the way, this beaver has been crying throughout the entire movie. Really? Well, like, I can't think of a single scene where she wasn't crying. It's a she. Okay, I forgot. <laughs> wow. Uh, Stop crying. What the hell's this revel? <laughs> yeah, whiny bitch thing. What the actual what the? fuck does that mean? I don't. I, I'm telling you, they know what they're doing. Really? Weird face. Why they got me all. I don't know the words. Why are you showing this shit? We then get a music he, to reference James Bond. I one guess where floats his boat. Gotta milk those lady character models for all they're worth. Kids you know, movie. The ones with the ugly faces and yep. huge tits. We oh know exactly God. why they're doing Are they that. Are doing all the single ladies? 
First, Johnny's dad. And you can't make this. him look uh, attractive or anything, because that'd be degrading to women. So, on a lady who was practically the same age as his daughter. His daughter even <laughs> comments on this, and in a very weird way. Well, I guess because of his accent, maybe, or. Found a wee bit of happiness now. <laughs> well, I don't know. He did something. Even if she is a breeze and lassie with a funny accent, and I dare say him. Who the fuck are you? Chase. How come your tits oh, are not that big? My dad's oh, but the only ones. younger than me, and I'm very envious of her massive knockers. Fuck this movie. It's bad. <laughs> yeah, Why it's did you very bad. It? Well, because it was so original. No, because you lost your fucking mind. You're just like Stephen Seagal, just needing a job for money. <laughs> And this one is good for three-year-olds to age. <laughs> for the kids, I believe it's um, first class. So yeah, this movie to say sucked. that. I mean, it wasn't the worst thing I've ever seen. And there are a handful of redeeming qualities. But not bullshit. nearly enough to make this film worth watching. Unless you want to laugh at how bad it is. Yeah, it was this pretty bad. This was a bad. pitiful movie that suffered from a difficult production. Ass, trash and it's movie. very evident in the final product. The Hartmans were just trying to cash in on Sean Connery's I'm dead glad. career. I guess it's over. And pulled his corpse out of the grave to make it so. They practically referenced every famous movie He's the guy He's better than in, that. And very little of it actually had to do with the plot of the movie. It was just, uh, hey, here's a Sean Connery acting reference because he's the star of our film. I mean, and imagine if Pixar that. did the same thing in Toy Story and brought up movies Tom Hanks was in. You got a friend in yeah, he should have been in this movie. I want. You got a friend in the channel. No, References it don't work. do not make a movie, and neither does shitty animation. And so yeah, ends the acting shitty. career for one of the most influential actors in movie history. <laughs> he should have done better Good than that, man. Riddance. Look at this. You're gonna have him doing this, man. You shouldn't have made him old. You died. So there you go, everyone. If y'all wanna watch the original video, the link is in the description. Go check it out and shit. Get the fuck out here. So yeah, yeah. My name is Billy Bob Tamley, and I approve this message.